and welcome to this week's video. Today is my November TBR. I can't believe we're already in November. Um, 2020 is right around the corner. But this is my November TBR, so this is the list of books I am going to be finishing and or hopefully completing um, this November. The first book on my TBR I actually started last month and that was um, Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. I'm about 600 pages in and I, abs and I am absolutely loving this book. This is the seventh and final book in the Throne of Glass series and it is one of my all-time favorite series. It's so well written and, and it's just an incredible uh, an incredible story and I just love reading it and I am loving how um, all of these ties built throughout the last six books ha are all coming together in such a beautiful way and I am incredibly um, ec excited to finish this book and I highly recommend to um, anyone who is looking for a great fantasy story. I love just these politics, the characters. Um, the characters are in such a unique world that um, I'm that I was really enjoyed learning about, and we're learning about. Uh, we learn a little bit more every book, and I'm just, and I was just really um, happy and fascinated to learn about um, the world of politics, and I especially love the magic and the bad guys, like. The antagonists of these stories are so cool, but I really love the protagonist, and she is just um, kick butt, and she is just so cool, and I really love reading Next about book her. on my November TBR is The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. This is the second book in the second Percy Jackson series, but um, this this it takes place after the last series the um, gods of Olympus. This is the hero of Olympus and it takes place in the same world. And I, and I really I really enjoyed reading the first book of the series and I love Rick Riordan's writing so I'm excited to read this book. This, this new series follows three new main characters but I am pretty sure this book follows Percy and I just love Percy so I'm excited to see where he was because he wasn't in the first book. But I am incredibly excited to read this book. This world is this world um, is similar to ours, except for the um, gods of Olympus from Greek mythology and Roman mythology are present. Are present, and we just see our main characters go through adventures and quests. Um, and I just love this series and this author's writing style. The next book on my November TBR is. Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. This is the second book in the Red Queen series. I think there's four books. I'm not positive, but I think there's four books. But um, I enjoyed reading the first book and I just really wanted to know what happens in the rest of the series. So um, I was happy to pick this up, this book up and um, I just enjoyed the series. I, I mean, I enjoyed the plot and the storyline of the last book. So I'm just excited to read this one. This, um, this world is in, or this book takes place in a world where there are silver bloods and red bloods and silver bloods have like these powers, like think X-Men and like all those different powers, like mag, like manipulation over metal, fire, electricity, all of that and the red bloods who are basically just human. Um, and we follow our main character, Mare, who is a red blood, but she has um, an ability that she's not supposed to have. So in order to keep her a secret, the king decides to betroth her to um, his son. So we just um, take off, so we just get, so we basically just take off in this um, little setup which I was very interested to read about and um, I am and I'm excited to get to this book the fourth book on my November TBR is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson this is um, 
the first book, and I think it's the only book in this series, I'm pretty positive, but um, I'm excited to read this book. This book takes place in a world where um, humanity is basically at war, and our main character um, is Spensa, and she has been training her whole life to become a pilot like her dad, but um, the odds have always been against her because her dad um, was branded a coward after he left his post during a uh, an attack, but that does but that isn't gonna stop Spencer from following her dream. And um, this book sounds interesting, and I and I've heard really good things about it. And I really love the cover. Like people say, don't judge a book by its cover, but like, isn't this cover so pretty? Anyway, um, I am excited to read this book, and I've heard really good things. About next it. book on my um november tbr is a court of thorns and roses by sarah j mass this is the same author that wrote the um throne of glass series and i just love her writing so um i was so i am i was happy to pick this book up i've heard really good things about this um this series and i just want to read it for myself this book follows a young girl who um in this world there is like a separation between fairy and human and fairy are like these elite like you don't want to mess up with a fairy but this girl kills a fairy so she is sent to fairy court to face her punishment and um i this book sounds interesting um and I, as i said i love the, the author so i so um i am excited to read this book and the last book on my november tbr is the Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan. This is the third book in the um, Heroes of Olympus series. And I don't actually know where the cover went. This, so, um, but I'll just put a picture right here to see, to let you know what the cover looks like. But anyway, the, as I said, this is the third book in the Heroes of Olympus series. And I am, and I am planning to hit this book this month this coming month um after i read the son of neptune um i just really as i said i love the writing style and the author and the series and like i love learning about the greek and roman mythology in the in his books and all and i've read two of the three books of the cain chronicles and that is like the egyptian mythology um based series and I really loved it. So every time I read these books, I just learn more about these different mythologies. And I, and I, I feel like I've always been interested in mythologies. And I just, and I am excited to read this book and learn more about the Greek mythology. Well, that concludes my November TBR. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and go down below to subscribe. And also hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I post a new video. Um, if you, Let me know if you guys have reading plans this November also. I'm really interested to see if you guys set a TBR or if you just look at your bookshelf and go with the flow. Because sometimes I do that, but I really like these TBRs. So um, with that, I'll just see you next week. Bye guys.